on that I can see who's the most active right so the idea behind that is that you're going to be engaging on people's posts as time goes on I'm going to go to Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about active group user software and how to use it to tr track your messages and where you are in your you know sales process so we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. I mean that's right as a business owner as you're trying to build your business online with social media on Facebook trying to send messages friend requests all those kinds of things if you don't track any of that you're not going to know where you are right you're not going to know where how good things are doing whether this strategy is working whether that strategy is working or not right so you want to make sure that you're tracking some of well as much of the activities as you're doing and you want to make it so that you're not wasting so much time using tools to track right you want to take action and this is one of the things that active group users ought to do but before we show you that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis486.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen and showing you exactly what I'm talking about so without further ado let's do that right now let's go to the screen so you've got active group users software you've been running it for a while you're getting all these lists of people right and you know you can load more and if you haven't been using active group users you might be looking at that thinking looking at this thinking oh my god what is the what is all this right but basically you can see right here just a list of people right so it's a list of people that you're engaging with that you're connecting with that you're sending messages or that you're um, engaging on their posts on Facebook and that kind of stuff right over here we can see numbers that's showing me how many visits how many people's profiles did I visit today and yesterday the day before the day before right shows me so that I can track because you know me I'm doing like about 20 a day kind of thing it also shows me right here how many reactions how many posts I've reacted to how many comments how many posts I've commented on how many private messages I've sent as you can see it says zero right now uh it shouldn't say zero that's interesting anyways I did send some pms today <clears throat> and also if I send friend requests it'll show up here as well but right now I just want to talk to you about you know messages you're sending messages you want to know where the conversation is at so if you look at this list like what I would normally do right first of all oh my god I think I need some sleep all right anyway so first of all when you're going to go into active group users you're going to click on the data right here it'll take you to this list and you can choose to see the list of the users from previous execution previous script so what the active group users does is it goes into the groups you tell it to and it gets the list of people that are actually commenting and posting in those groups right and then it gives you this list right here and over time you can see who is the most active because you see that they're they're how many times they're visiting um or actually that's not even that's not even it I don't that's not these numbers over here showing me right here how many comments that they've posted in the group how many times how many comments they've how many comments have they put on posts in the group how many posts that they've created and then this is previous month so this is the last 30 days these two columns here so if I sort my list based on that I can see who's the most active right so the idea behind that is that you're going to be engaging on people's posts as time goes on I'm going to go to Sean's page here I just click on his name it shows me kind of a summary of what's going on and the actual post that it grabbed from the the group and then if I click on his name again it'll take me straight to Facebook on his profile directly right I don't have to go and you know like if I go to a group right let's say I'm go let's say I go to groups right and um well let's let it load up here I go to Facebook and I go to groups right if I just go to the groups 
um, over here it takes me to the groups the list of you know groups or my group feed right based on the groups I'm part of you're obviously going to see different posts here different things but you also have your list of groups right here so if I go to a group directly like let's say I go to Clickbank affiliate marketing okay I go to that group it takes me to that groups and I see the post right here now I can see right here that uh, Prince Ismail is posting something and they're recruiting and they're looking for somebody you know and I don't know if this is real or not but that's not the point the point is that Prince has posted I can go and contact Prince myself send him a message right or if I want to check out his profile to see if he's legitimate or not I would click his name which would take me to this group profile which all, all it does is shows me the post that he's posted in the group right but I still don't know whether this is you know legitimate or not so I go to his profile his main profile right here which takes me to his actual Facebook profile which kind of looks the same but as you can see right here all I see is a couple of profile pictures and a cover photo right this is a cover photo this is a profile picture and then I have another profile picture here so me as an online marketer trying to connect with people I would be like well I don't know if this is so, you know somebody I would want to connect with um, also he's not English so probably not my target market but just looking at the fact that he doesn't have any posts on here other than these four or five posts to me is a red flag right so I probably wouldn't even bother uh, connecting with him but oh I close out that so that's going through the group growing to the group but if I use active group users I know that Sean here is somebody who's constantly posting he's very active he's consistent and he's got a message that he's sending he's great and I know that if I go here I can engage on some of his posts and then I would just basically go close this tab and then I would uh, record here that I commented on a certain number of posts now over time what will happen is that I will have the number of visits and it'll change his temperature from warm to hot as I engage on his stuff automatically the tool does that there's options so you can change that but the idea here is that now I have hot leads so this is what I want I want to go and connect with the people that are hot leads so I'm going to go in here and so this is what I'm doing I'm I'm going to send messages to a few people about my uh my current um offer that I'm building on right now which is my webinar that's happening uh, next Thursday and so what I want to do is I want to just connect with the people that have a hot temperature so the tool will automatically uh, change the temperature from cold to warm to hot over time and as you can see here they're not all hot some are cold some are warm some are some and some are hot right so that's what I want I want to go and find those so what I'm going to do here I'm going to say okay I want to just show me the hot temperature and I want a status of just active somebody who's active and that the temperature is hot so I'm just going to filter on this and that'll give me the list of the people that are hot in other words I've been engaging with them enough that the tool knows that they're hot so you can see right here all these people are here so what I'm going to do here I'm going to send a message to Susan <laughs> so what I do is I go to her profile and I send her a message right so in this case I'm going to send a message I'm going to take a message I sent before let's look at the other messages I sent basically I'm going to do a cut and paste more or less right but that's obviously as you go you don't necessarily want to do that but let's just look at some message sent Allison here and let's just get this text from here uh, and just take this over here it's actually not going to be you know obviously the same thing but I'm going to go back to uh, this is Susan already so I'm going to click on message right here and I'm going to send her a message right here I'm going to say I'm going to say hey Susan right obviously it's Susan and I'm not going to this is obviously not related to her uh, and I'm not going to do that um, and I'm just going to say it's been a while it's been a while and I see you are getting back to it because Susan is in a group that I'm in as well so I kind of know that she's kind of getting back to it and so now I have just basically the message about the 
the the webinar I'm doing, right? So I'm just going to send that to her. So now I sent the message, right? I'm just going to go and close this and close this, and I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say um, I sent her a PM, and that her uh, temperature, the lead status, is now contacted. So now what that does, I save that. You can see now that it says contacted instead of active right here, right? So I can do the same thing with Norina here. Well, I should have probably copied it. So I'm going to Norina. And actually, when I look at the list here, if I see right here, I can see that I visited her uh, 19, where's the message? Nine days ago. Okay, so I visited her nine, nine days ago. So I'm actually going to go and engage on some of her posts as well, <coughs> which is basically just um, just looking at her post and just reacting to it, right? And I'm going to say, and I'm just going to say, like normally I would take more time to read a little bit and make it a really good comment because that's the whole point right you want people to actually feel that you care about them and that you care about their posts and everything right so but I'm just going to say that can, that's awesome that's awesome just like that right just because it's very that's awesome all right and then I'm going to go and to the next one I'm going to love this one as well okay so now I've got three posts that I engaged on one of them I commented on and I'm also going to send her a message and we'll see whether she because I did send her a message in the past and I'm just going to say again obviously the name has to be the right name so it's Norina um, and then I'm going to say not sure if this is for you but I see always busy building your online, your online business and then I'm just going to say that like that what's wrong with that busyness with an s not an a okay and I just want to make sure I have the tab I'm not actually going to copy this whole thing Marina copy everything all right so there we go now Norina is is probably not in my time zone but that's okay because there's a replay as well so I just sent her a message and so I close the tab right and then I come back here and I say I come to one post I reacted to three posts I sent a pm and now her uh, lead status will be contacted so I save that now I have this contacted contacted and then I can keep going on with these other uh other names here right I mean in any of these I could send a message and just that's kind of what I do so now the next thing is as I get these uh people replying to my messages right so then what I do is now I've sent out let's say I send out like 10 messages right to 10 different people you don't want to overdo it because Facebook definitely is going to flag you if you do too much of that right so you kind of pace yourself but basically what I do now is I go back here and I look at the ones that I contacted filter on the ones that I contacted and then when I look when I and I guess there's only three right now that's weird why is there oh that's because I'm inside the scrapes okay here's the other thing so as you're building you're gonna you're gonna do scrapes more and more every single day you're gonna do scrapes you're gonna set up the tool if I go to the tool right here you're going to want to set up so that it automatically scrapes every night and that's by default the schedule is I'm, I don't remember if the schedule is on by default or not it might not be right but you definitely have to enable it and you give it a time here which is a uh, 24 hour clock so if you want it at like one at 1 a.m it would be 0100 if you want it at 11 p.m it would be 2300 right and uh, over here it says just wait how, mu how much time since the last run that's normally is like one or four hours or something is fine uh, but you need to enable that so that'll run every night and that'll give you if I go back here it'll give you this list right here right now it's showing the 28th 29th 30th right so it'll run every night but the thing is that it also puts all those lists all these lists of all these people all together in one big list so that's why when you look at the view here you've got the by scrapes and the all contacts 
so what we want now is we want to go to all contacts and find the ones that I contacted so I go to all contacts right here <coughs> and you're going to see that these are the ones I contacted right so now what I can do is I can look through these that I contacted the ones that actually replied I changed them to replied I don't think anybody's replied yet to me this morning these are the ones I sent this morning uh, but eventually they reply so I can look for the ones that replied and the ones that replied I can then say did they you know these are all the ones that replied over time did they sign up I can maybe say okay you know uh, Tanya Smith uh, is one of the ones that actually registers so I can come down here and I can say that she uh da -da -da, she sh I don't I don't have a but I guess I can say that she I can put her on presenting for now I should probably fix that so that there's other um other uh, statuses you can set or a whole process I, I'm working on on creating uh, campaigns where you can choose uh what they what where they are in your campaign you know your campaign campaign would have different uh, statuses that you can set right and all that stuff but the idea here is that once you've done this once you're doing this regularly then you can actually go to the report here and you can actually see how you're doing right you can see how you're doing right here it shows you the number of uh this is actually too small for me so the number of uh trial presented replied contacted commented visited right so it tells you how many how many people you contacted how many of them replied how many presented over the percent so it shows you a percentage too right so as I'm doing this more every day now um, I'll be able to see more how this uh compares to you know how this compares over time over the last quarter because right here you see the numbers the gray is the previous quarter right and uh, and also you have the numbers down here which basically shows you how many profiles of today how many comment, commented on the contact that replied presentation trial users purchases right so that's kind of what that is this year shows me uh, you know how many purchases over all this so over 14,000 I don't know how accurate this is because I haven't been doing it every day all the time I've been kind of doing other things but if you are consistent and you do it definitely this would give you what uh, would give you a, a number show you how good you're doing with all that stuff right so I'm going to just reset that back to uh to the reset size and so you know that's the thing so you can track that and that's kind of how you do it if I go back to data right here which takes me to the scrapes by default right the last scrape I did uh, which in this case is October 30th I can actually go back here and I can say I want everybody in here again just all the contacts and then I can choose to engage on some of them and or not or whatever right so if I go back down here I'm going to look at this as four days ago how long ago I visited them that's basically what I try to do is visit people no not too often like every six days or more I would visit them so that means that if I come down here look at these four days two days four days three days uh, nine days ago so I'm going to go check Elise here so I go to her profile and that means that I visited her you know nine days ago and uh see what else she's posting right so March 31st that's a pin post but this one is a new post from three hours ago what's the, what's the what's the worst thing to serve on Thanksgiving huh <laughs> I don't know right <laughs> uh, that's a good question do any of you use a digital planner that also syncs to their iCloud calendars uh, I'm gonna say I'm just gonna like that and then she has a reel right here which I can react to um, some image toxic thoughts I'm just gonna say yeah those those oops those can hurt us more than we realize right <coughs> and then so now I've reacted to three posts I come down one so I'm actually going to go up here and I'm going to send her a message and I'm going to send her the message that I sent to everybody else it looks like I have a messenger at all I, is that real is it just not loading well let's see and I'm going to say hey Elise I'm not sure if this is for you but I see you are always busy with your own business and then there we go that's good enough. I'm just going to go with this 
send her a message and then close this then go back here and again say that I sent a content on one post reacted to three posts I sent a pm and I changed her lead status to contacted and see what that's right so then I can keep going right and nine days ago Lynn so let's go check out Lynn so that's just this is all you do and the thing is that you don't like I mean you could go through the news feed right but the problem with that is that you don't really know you're letting Facebook decide for you right you're letting Facebook decide for you who they who you react to it's based on what Facebook thinks and sometimes it could be okay and in the beginning it definitely is okay when you're starting out because you don't know who you're even trying to target or things like that right uh, so I'm just gonna say while on this because I don't really know what that is and she's got and this is kind of weird eh? because on mobile you can actually heart reels right but on the on the desktop you can't you can only like them right you can like them and that's it so if I like these I've got three reactions and I'm going to put a comment on this you eventually lose what you chase because it's country yep and I'm just going to say yep anything you chase will run away from you. and then there we go that's all I'm going to say right here and I'm going to send her a message just gonna say Lynn is somebody I have not messaged before either and I'm gonna say hi Lynn and there we go so I'm just gonna send that now I sent this message to Lynn as well uh, I'm gonna close this and then I come back here and say I commented on on one post I reacted to three posts and I sent her a pm yes and now I've got her as contacted and there we go so now that's kind of what oh and the other thing I was forgetting is whether these would be so Clara is showing his reply but I think that that's a reply from a long time ago so let me just go back here and change Clara to new uh, to active and then I'm going to go to her profile I visited her five days ago so let's say five days ago is not enough I'm just going to do a save right here and not do anything else uh, but then I can go back down here and see for anybody else so I'm on right here is nine days ago so I'm going to click on him and go to his profile and again do the same thing I'm going to engage on a couple of his posts on one of his posts and uh, looks like he's a big Ray Ray Higdon fan so I'm just going to say I just don't like this I don't like this one and this is another I'm just going to of this and say what a great interview now obviously I should be watching it and looking at it and maybe saying something specific to this interview but for now I'm just going to do that and then I can go back and I can send a message right so if I go here again it's going to be just Armand. oops is a M A N D. And let's just say hi instead of hey. And there we go. I could say hello, I suppose. And then I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back here again. Same thing. Come down to one post, reacted to three posts, and sent the PM. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to say contacted. There we go. So now the thing is that over time, people will reply to some of them some won't reply so the ones that do reply I come back here and I change them to uh change them to uh replied right so then I can track out of the people that I sent messages to how many of them replied to me right and the thing is that when you're not using a tool like this and you're just doing Facebook and engaging in Facebook and doing all that you don't really know if you know you send a hundred messages well maybe you kind of do but it's a lot of it's a lot it's all manual counting of everything right you send a hundred messages how many out of those hundred are actually going to reply to you and I guarantee you that if you're sending messages to just you know new people that you really haven't engaged with yet they're not gonna 
most of them aren't going to reply. So that's what you really want. You want people that actually reply. And why does it work with this is because when I go to their profile and I do it regularly, you can see right here that for Maurice right here, I went and I come down 28 posts in the last 190 days. So that means that, and if I mouse over here, I can actually see when that was, right? 17 days ago, 23 days ago, 43 days. So regularly I'm engaging on his posts and he automatically is going to see that I'm engaging on his post right so that's just kind of how it works so it's and you know if I don't I don't use a tool like this I can still do that if I'm engaging on posts and everything but then I will never know where I'm at with this person I just uh, all going to be based on my memory right which you know maybe that works for you but if you don't have time to be on the Facebook newsfeed all the time then you need some way to track your activity make it most efficient for you right and this is what active group users does if I go to Morris now I'm just going to go do the same thing I go to Morris's page <clears throat> I look at his posts I can see that he posted this uh, I want to increase uh, create and multiple cash flow should have oh, I already reacted to this let's go back to here <coughs> reset restart refocus how many times you need uh, and then I'm just going to love this and say exactly exactly the only way to lose is to quit and then this I typed it wrong <laughs> exactly and then I'm just gonna say yes and then I'm gonna go back here happy Wednesday I really love this <clears throat> and then there's a uh, goodbye October hello November so I guess it's a little bit since I've been on his page obviously right so now I've got the three posts I'm going to send him a message and I'm going to say hey Maurice right I'm going to say hello and I'm going to say hope, hope everything is going good and then I'm going to say I'm not sure the same thing as the rest right so obviously like I said doing a cut and paste not a good idea to do it too much so I'm going to stop now for today anyways and then go back to tomorrow but same thing reacted comment on one post reacted to three posts send the pm and he's now contacted and I save that so that kind of tells me right here now I can see you can see right here through the list contacted contacted right and I said hot so that's why it's only the hot that are showing up here right so how does that work under the options of the tool you can set how many um they become warm after three visits so you could have more comments if you wanted uh or hot after seven visits so that's kind of how it's I've got it set you can change that to make it 10 visits five visits whatever you want right I mean you can set this to 20 visits if you want before they become hot so that they really know who you are right um, but that's really up to you how often but that's kind of how it works and the tool will automatically set then you can also just manually change them like if I know some <laughs> if I go to say for example my cold ones if I just go look through that list and I know that they're like geez they're people that already know me it's just you know if I go through this list and I look at them somebody that I know maybe right I have no idea but if there was somebody there that I I know that I know already that they already know who I am I can manually change it I can just go on this and I can manually change it right here to you know I can manage change it to hot if I want right I don't I yeah I'm not going to do that now because I don't know who this is but you can do that manually too and that's kind of how you use the tool to track the messages and now you know who you send messages to how long ago and all that stuff is all in there and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time.